Uh, how much longer, dear? I don't know, Mom. You've got the map. Oh, you know, it's really kind of sad. Moving. All our neighbors. Susan, Ben. Oh, and especially Major Yawnsbury. I'm going to miss them all so much. Well, then why are we moving? Oh, well, you know, dear, as a newly retired lady, it's my duty to set an example for what everyone else should do. Don't you worry, it won't be long. They'll all be moving out to the country in a large house with us. Oh, oh, this must be it here. Here, turn left, dear, turn left. Left, Polly. I said turn right. No, you said left. Now stop with the middle class humor, Polly. As my daughter, I expect you to drop it this instant. Now, turn around and go the way I said. <gasps> oh, look! There it is! Oh, that is nice! Just imagine, Polly, all of the entertaining we can do in this house. Hello. Uh, hello. Are you my new really neighbor? Actually, right yeah, it's me and my mom. Do you be careful with my boxes? So, what's your name? My name is Polly. Oh, oh, hello there, hello there. How are you? I'm Rosie. Miss Rosie Tulip. It's so good to see you. I see you've met my daughter Polly, haven't you? You know, she loves to garden. Yes. Yeah. Do you love to garden too? Oh yes, of course I can see that. Sure you do. Oh yes, she does a lovely job, doesn't she? You know, I hope she doesn't give you too much competition as the year goes on with the gardening. She did win the youngsters' uh, competition where we lived before. She's quite the gardener. We are so very proud of that, aren't we, Polly? And what is your name? Ming Wen. Ming Wen. Oh, it's Chinese, right? Chinese. Actually, it's Japanese. So I have an aunt in China. Perhaps you two have met. Well, possibly not. It's a large place, isn't it? Well, you know, I really should give you my phone number. You know, I do have a mobile phone that actually vibrates <laughs> when it rings. Uh, but I'm afraid Polly might have packed it in one of our moving boxes. So I'll give you our home phone number. Would that be all right? Thank you. Here's mine. Oh, oh, thank you so much. I will truly treasure this. Uh, you know, I will call you tomorrow for coffee. 
Be aware. Be aware. How can you live with this woman? Ah, uh, well, you get used to it really fast. Oh, I do so love getting all my nice things out and seeing them all once again after they've been out. Oh, my mobile phone. I was wondering where that was. Now I have that. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, you know what? I really don't like where this sofa is. Hmm, maybe this way a little bit. But... Oh, oh, it's so heavy. Oh, well, I'll, um, I know. I'll call me Gwen for some help. Oh, hello there, Bipsy. Get out of my chair, I want to sit down. So, um, do we have any clients? There's still no clients? Uh, we need to do something about this. Oh, I'm gonna do something about this. I can't believe it. So I want 
come and look just as artistic as the art will in the art museum. Don't you think it's lovely? Please, please, come in and have a seat. Sit anywhere, sit anywhere. Um, I know I have a lot of seats, but you know, I believe, and don't you too, that whenever you have guests, you should have plenty of comfortable places for them to sit. And so I have this many seats because I have so many guests, people will be flocking now that I've moved here. Don't you think so? Yeah. Um, I hope you don't mind, Ingrid. We are going to pick up Polly on the way. You know my daughter, Polly? The beautiful daughter I have? Oh, <laughs> yes, of course. Well, anyway, she's at school, and um, I think it's going to be, oh, just a little bit early. Oh, but of course they'll let her go. Polly loves art, and art is so important. How could the school not let her go to go to the art museum? So what do you say? We'll get going, and we'll go get Polly, don't you think? Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hello. My name is Rosa Tulip, and I've come to pick up my daughter, Polly Tulip. We are going to the art museum today. It's such a beautiful day, and I've just got away to be such a lovely event, don't you think? Um, well, actually, we typically don't let students out, especially for something as childish as art. Childish art? Oh, my heavens, no! <laughs> you have totally the wrong idea. You must be thinking crafts or something. No, I'm talking about the art museum. Have you heard of Monet? Yes, I have. Okay, have you heard of a Renoir? Yes. Have, have you seen their art? I have seen their art. And do you believe that to be childish? No, well, oh, certainly not. Of course not. You agree with me, don't you? This is a necessary thing to do, don't you think? And if I wait till school this out, I can't possibly have enough time to get through the entire exhibit. So I'm sure you agree this would be a very worthwhile thing for Polly to do, wouldn't you? Sure. Let me see what classroom she's in. Oh, thank you so very much. It looks like she's in Miss Butterworth's class. Let me give her a call. Thank you. Hello, Miss Butterworth. Can you send Polly to look up to the office with her things? Thank you. Thank you so very much. How kind of you and how efficient. Yes, um, she'll be right down, so if you can wait outside. Oh, I shall. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. You Thank you again. There you are, Miss Wen. How was it Oh, it went fine. It took a little convincing, don't you know? But she finally realized what a wonderful opportunity going to the art museum would be. Polly should be along presently. Oh, this will be so much fun. Oh, here she is now. Oh, Polly, you might hear. How are you? Good. Oh, I have to use the toilet. Oh, Polly, you're a lady. It's the powder room. Yes. I have to use the powder Would you hurry so that we have an excellent time at the art museum? Okay. All right. Thank you. 
Get a client for real. A clean house is a happy house. Uh, what was that? Is that Polly? Oh my! <coughs> Polly! 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 Oh, Polly! Oh, it wasn't her. Where is Polly? Who will help me find her? Detective Porcelain, P.I. I'm going to call him right this moment. Hello. Hello there. Uh, hello. How are hello. you? Uh, I'm here to see Detective Porcelain. Is Detective Porcelain in? Oh, let me see. Hold Thank on. you so very much. Lovely dress, by the way. Very, um, you. you know, Kenyan. Yeah. Lovely. Hello. Detective Porcelain. Oh, hello, yes. You have a client. What? We got a client? Bloody hell, Cinder Rossina. I'm ready for her. Okay. Shit, we got a client, Scotch. I think this will work. You take the port out of the Oh, thank you so very much. I appreciate you taking the terrible trouble I'm having. So many problems you wouldn't believe. Thank you so very much. Where is his office? He's down the hall on the left. Thank you so very much. Mm -hmm. Yes, we really have a client. Detective Force Ellen, I hope you are because I've been looking all over this office that. building. Oh, thank you so much, so much. I need someone to help me with my daughter. Okay, my daughter is gone and I don't know what to do. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm Detective Force Ellen. Oh, lovely. You say you have a problem? I do, I do. Well, like I said, it's my daughter Polly. She's gone. She's gone? She's gone. You see, my neighbor, Mangoen, and I, we were both. He comes over for coffee, you know, and we chat, and we decided that we'd love to go to the art museum to see the exhibits there. And it seems that we knew that that was something that my daughter Polly would love to do. So, we came by the school to pick up my daughter Polly. And everything
everything seemed just fine, but then she needed to go to the ladies' room. You know how that goes. So we waited for her, but it seemed to be taking an awfully, awfully long time. And all of a sudden, we heard a scream. It was blood curdling. And then Gwen ran into the building and opened the door. And he ran back out of the building. So I ran in after him to see what was going on. And do you know what I saw? I went into that bathroom and there was no Polly. There was just chickens, dirty chickens everywhere. Oh, I don't think I've seen anything quite like this. Did the police come by and say anything at all? Well, the police did come by. A Bobby came by. I had to wait, it seemed like, for hours. But finally, yes, a detective did, er, uh, Bobby did come by. And you know what he said? He looked around at all of these chickens, and he told me my daughter was dead. Now, my daughter's not dead. I'm a mother. I would feel it. So you say there is no body at all? There is no body. Nothing. The only thing in that bathroom with this... Dirty chickens all over, and I can't believe that the police wrote it down as dead. Yeah, that is quite old. Will you help me? I need someone who can make this their top priority. My daughter's really special, you know. I don't want to brag, but she does excel in university. Well, let's say uh, we are quite busy here, you see. <laughs> but you see, I, I do love missing person cases. Oh, lovely. And uh, because you are starts in a bathroom, I think I'm going to give it a shot. Oh, lovely. Thank you so much. I do know for sure we are going to make the best daughter fighting team, aren't we? Yes, that's great. Can you be in my office tomorrow at about 10.30? 10.30 will be lovely, Detective. Detective Force Ellen. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. Well, it's good to see you again, Rosie. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's get this straight. Your daughter has appeared a few days ago. Yes, you did. Okay, um, so could you go through it one more time just so yes, I can see if I got everything As right? As I indicated, Ming Gwen and I, my neighbor, Ming Gwen and I, had uh, come over to pick up Polly early from school. We had had to go down to the office and get permission. And so Polly came out of the classroom and she indicated that she needed to go to the restroom before we left. So she did, of course, and Ming Wen and I were waiting, and then we heard a noise, and Ming Wen went to investigate, and then he just went running out of the building. That's odd. It was very odd, and what was even more odd is what he had seen. I then went to the restroom to see what was going on, I mean, what a strange reaction, and here, the restroom was filled with chickens. Have you heard from Ming Wen since all of this happened? I have not. I have not. Okay, well, I want you to go talk to him, you know. Um, see if he knows anything. Like, question him, you know. Yeah. Yes, yes, of course I could do that. Oh, no! Is that so quiet? Oh, yes, hello. Oh, would you like a piece of candy? Oh, sorry. Thank you very much. Okay, we're busy here. Oh, be quiet, poor Helen. Okay, yeah. Yeah, but could you do what I told you to about Ming Wen and I try to see if he knows anything? I, I really of think course. that he might know something. He enjoys coming over for my Kenyan coffee. Oh my gosh, I just had this new pen and you must try this. Oh, I, I have you eaten this one? Oh, 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 We have to have everything just right with the Gwen coming for the Kenyan coffee. <laughs> this is so lovely. I'm so glad you're taking me back. I don't want to go there. Ming Gwen? Oh, Ming Gwen! Oh, Ming Gwen, I'm so glad you could come today. And guess what? Do you remember that lovely Kenyan coffee that I had last time? Yes. I have been able to procure some of those same beans and made it a piping hot for the two of us. Isn't that lovely? You know, these beans, 
uh, they roast them for 14 hours before they grind them. Isn't that amazing? 14 hours of roasting. And then they grind them up. These beans are like a little bit of heaven, aren't they? First class heaven. We can go to Kenya as Hollywood gone. Oh, go to Kenya. You know, the hotels there, they're not luxury hotels like I'm used to. Oh, and the sheets. Ah, they're just like, oh, they're terrible. And my tender epidermis, it would be ripped right off sleeping on those knots. I can't imagine. Ah, besides, I just can't imagine going anywhere without Polly right now. She's all I think about, day and night. I miss her so. Oh, poor Polly. Oh, such a good coffee. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. It is lovely coffee, isn't it? Yes. Oh, Kenya. If only Polly were here to enjoy this. It's really all I can think about. The way we went up there and, and those chickens, where she disappeared, all those chickens. Do you know anything about those chickens? Chickens? Well, I don't. You don't. My investigator was sure that she would know something about the chickens. You will tell me if you find anything out. Yes, yes I will. Okay. Oh, that's a go, I'm sorry. I'm so soon, you haven't finished your coffee. I'm, I'm sorry, I just don't have to. Oh, oh, okay, well, if you have to run. Hmm, that's odd. He left so quickly. I wonder if there's something bothering him. Hmm. Oh, there you are, Rosie. I'm glad that you made it. You know, I was afraid you might not find the place. Oh, I had no trouble at all. It's so good to see you again, Detective Port Allen. What a lovely afternoon it is. So, how have you been? I've been very well, thank you. Actually, not very well. I'm worried sick about my daughter, of course. Yeah, you know, I, I really think that Ming Wen might have something to do with this. I know I asked you to talk to him. Mm -hmm. um, did you get a chance? Well, of course I did. You asked me to, so of course I invited him over for coffee, as a matter of fact. We had a lovely time back on the uh, veranda, don't you know? We had Kenyan coffee and we chatted. Oh, it was such a beautiful day, as I recall. Just That's the sun. Nice, it was but, lovely. Um, did he say anything important? Oh, <laughs> of course. Well, I asked him specifically whether he knew anything at all about Polly's disappearance. Well, he told me he did not. So I told him that if he heard anything at all or thought of anything at all, he had to come to me directly and let me know. And he told me he would, but then don't you know, he ran off quickly, just like before. He ran off again? He did. Do you know what? He has to be holding something. By the way that hmm. you've described him, it's like... Yes, you would think. Dead on. It's yes. Hello, you I'm your chicka una honey. No, <laughs> of course hey. you are. <laughs> yes. Can I offer you two something to drink? Um, well, I'd like a Coke, please. A uh, Coke would be lovely. Thank you so much. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, uh, yes, of course <laughs> you will. What a waitress. <laughs> oh, I thought this was maybe a little bit nicer, please. <laughs> what? So, um, yes, so I did talk to Ming Wen. And you're right, I think he must do something. In your drinks. Oh, that oh, was thank spot. you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent service. Oh, I forgot your menu. Oh, never <laughs> oh, mind. Yes, well. Well, have you two been here before? Oh, no, well, I'm actually new in town. Rosie, aren't you here too? I am, and I certainly have not been here before. Wow, well, I bet you're wondering why this place has such a weird name. Oh, yes. Yes, it is odd. It's Chica. What? Chica Unas. A Chica Una, of course, yes. Why does it have such a name? Well, legend has it that there's a chicken like creature that mm -hmm. resides in the forest of forest. Mm -hmm. And it's so named for the sound that it creates. And some guy thought it was a good idea to name the restaurant after the creature. Oh, a oh. chicken like creature. Uh -huh. So it's like a local restaurant, like a local, a local legend. treasure. Yeah. Oh, how interesting. Well, since I've forgotten your menus, what would you two like to eat? What do you got to here? Well, I suggest the Una Dog. It's a town favourite. The Una Dog? Yes. Well, what is that? I can't tell you. I'm under obligation of the restaurant not to reveal the secret recipe. Oh, it's that good? Yes. Ah. 
Well, I'd like to try a inner dog. Uh, yes, well, I'll have a inner dog as well. Thank okay. you. I'll be right back. Well, thank you so much. Inner dogs. Chicken. She said a chicken. I know. I think that we better ask her a little more when she comes back. We need more information from this one. This might be some lead. I would cuts. think so. Yes. Oh, here oh, she is. She is. Hello. Hello. Here you are, inner dogs. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. They look Wait, lovely. Um, we wanted to ask you about this figure here. Um, do you know anything else? Well, there's a lady in town who supposedly knows all about them. And her name is Madame Celeste. But be wet. She's a little weird. And she's a little weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, where could we find this lady? Um, she's in town. Her house is the one with the blue roof. Oh, the it's blue roof. Celestial. Oh, <laughs> of course, Madame Celeste. Well, could you tell us just a little bit more about this Chickahuna creature? Well, some people have claimed to have seen little chickens running around in the forest. It's a really strange phenomenon. Oh, little chickens running around in the forest, of course. Yes, and this Madame Celeste could tell us all about it. Of course. Oh, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Enjoy your inner dogs. I'm sure you will. <laughs> We must find this Madame Celeste. I know, especially when she mentioned the little chickens. Yes, chickens. It's exactly what we saw. Yes, I think we might be on the same. Well, let's eat our Luna dogs. Mmm. Mm. I love them. Delicious. Mmm. Mm. 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 They're actually quite good. Oh, yeah. Okay, actually, we were wondering. Sit down, please. Um, you see, I'm Detective Porcelain, and this is my client, Rosie. Um, Rosie Tulip, so good to meet you. And we believe that you might have some information that could help us with our case. <laughs> oh, no, I, no, I didn't do it. These townspeople will try to blame anything they can on me. No, dear, no, dear, <laughs> nothing like that. No, you see, we're looking for information about a creature that we are told called, is called a chikahuna. And we're told you may have some information about that. Yeah, we're not trying to accuse you of anything, you see. We just want your help. Could you help us? Come on, oh, calm please down. Please calm down. <coughs> oh, oh, oh my. Well, I'm just so tired of being the first person accused by these townspeople. I, you say you want to know about the chicken wall? Yes. Well, I must admit I don't know much, but I'll tell you what I know. First, what? Well, it's a little bit hard for this to talk about, but you see, it has to do with my daughter, Polly. Mm -hmm. You see, um, just a few days ago, she disappeared. And we have been led to believe that there is a creature called the Chikahuna and that this creature might have something to do with her disappearance. Oh, yes, yes, I believe you're right. Well, you see, every seven months the Chikahuna has a feast for his chicken minions. And if my calendar is not mistaking me, that feast is tonight. Oh, oh no, oh no! You don't need to tell me then! Oh no, that, that my polo will be eaten! Oh no! Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh no! There's got oh, to no. be something that we can do to help her. I mean, is she still alive oh. by any chance? Oh, well, I'm quite sure she's still alive. You see, the chikahuna likes to have his meal as fresh as possible. But I don't know if you could save her. You see, there's only one person who's ever escaped this creature, and I'm afraid he might be the only one that can help. Well, well you've, got to tell you've got to tell us who this is. Please tell us. Well, I will. For a private. Of course, of course, anything paid a woman. Okay, what do you want? Well, not money exactly, but your sunglasses. They're the most fascinating pair I've ever seen. Oh, but I like these trade. sunglasses. A detective Porcel and give her the sunglasses. No. We have got to save Polly. No. Please. Fine, you owe me for this. Oh, trade. fine, fine, fine. They're sunglasses. Oh, heavens, I. It's for Polly. No. A uh, the name, please. Oh, right, the name. Ming Wen. <gasps> Ming, Ming Wen? Wen?
I know you know something about the Chikapina. You take this for Tell us. Oh, no, my heavens. Tell us. Oh, my heavens. Oh, do tell us, Minguin. Will you tell please us. tell us? Tell us. Oh, oh please, Minguin. Oh. Hey, come it's holy. Let's go. Please. To us, you must help us. I know that you know something about the Chikahuna, Ming Wen. Yes, I know something about it. What? Please tell us. What happened? We heard that you're the only person who's ever survived and came through with it. Is this true? It's true. You know, last year I and my wife were protected by a whole place of shaking. And my wife was killed by the chicken who. Oh. That's oh, horrible. That's awful. It's the worst experience I've ever been. Oh, my God. But you survived. You must know how. You, you must know how to deal with these things. I survived, but I have no idea why. Oh. Do you know where we might find this chicken Perhaps Holly would be with them. Yeah. No Would way. you go with us and take us to the chicken? No, not till we go. Oh, my friend. Yes. Uh, then please tell us Ming how to Wen, get you there. You can save a life if you do that. I don't want to do that anymore. Oh, my friend. Could you, at least, could you at least tell us where the chicken is so we might go? Yes, there. please tell us. You go to the forest? forest? Yes. I know Follow where that the, is. Okay. Follow the chicken for that? Follow the chicken feathers. All right. And then you see a hole there. A hole? Jump down. And then... Jump into the hole? Yeah. And then... You will find a chicken hoon. Oh, my. Oh. So Are the you chicken hoon is down the hole. You're certain? It's down the hole? Yes. Well, I guess we must go right. into the forest. Let's today. go find a chicken hoon. Okay. Thank you, Ming Thank Wen. You've you, Ming Wen. Been a bit so fun. very much. We so we're appreciate so your help. We're so sorry about earlier. Yes, we're so sorry about your wife. And about me, such a new friend. Oh, look, 
Oh, yes, yes, there, right, right there. A chicken feather. It's a chicken feather. Do you see oh, it? Look, like it is. Oh, we must be on the right trail. Let's go. Let's go.
Oh my god. Why? 
Mystic Y. Mystic Y. Mystic Y. Mystic Y. Let's go. you do. Paula, would you be a dear and go get the coffee for us? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, what a love. I would have hated to have lost her forever. Thank you so much. Oh, Polly, Polly. Tonight, here's my, the keys to my safe. And get the cone of beans. <gasps> Mingwen deserves my best beans. It wasn't funny. You scared me. Uh. Hmm. Thank you. 